Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all another Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery pack uh, opening. These ones are actually different from the original ones I used to do on the channel. It's actually been quite a while since I did a mystery pack bundle opening, but I picked up, I believe it's eight or, yep, eight total packs. Uh, the shop I went to, it's actually called the uh, Pop Shop, if you're ever in uh, Sandusky, Ohio. Be sure to check them out. Uh, I was very surprised to see mystery Yu-Gi-Oh packs. I was just going in there, not knowing what to expect, but they had a good amount of trading cards you could uh, buy. And and I picked up eight of these. Two of them are actually ones I got for my girlfriend Marissa, which she'll be opening these two um, at the end of the video. But as for the other six, these were ones that I purchased, which I thought were really cool. I went with the ones I just thought had the best cards you could pull from the actual packs themselves. So I figured gonna go ahead and open them up. They were all a dollar each, except for the one she picked up, which has the Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior, which I believe this is from the... Um, Video game promo, which I believe, but a lot of cool ones for sure. Like I want to do a Kawaki Meru deck profile for you all one day. Nimble Sunfish, always uh, cool to open. But let's go ahead and jump right in, see what we get. They look, um, you know, kind of beat up, so I hope the cards are at least okay inside. But for $1, can't beat it for an opening. So let's go ahead and see what we get from each one of these things. They're stapled down, and like I said, I always seem to do pretty well with these mystery things. I don't know what cards to expect, but gotta slowly get them out. And we start off with a diffusion wave motion, which actually looks to be in pretty good condition. It's a first edition from the Magician's Force uh, booster pack. We've also got, which I believe you'll only get the one foil. These were only a dollar. The ones I used to buy were four dollars, which came with a couple other foils as well. So we've got the Secret Rare, which definitely looks nice. I think it has a few nicks here and there, but for a dollar, can't really beat that. For some of the others, for commons, we have Miss Polymerization, Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. I don't know how old these are, how long they've been on the shelves either, but uh, Shield Spear, if you can get a common. Herald of the Orange Light, it's pretty awesome. Uh, rare as well. Soul Tiger, Block Attack, Sword of Deep Seated, Cheerful Coffin. We have a Scrap Worm. This was from Storm of Ragnarok, so you know this had to be at least made uh, by then. Uh, Ambulance Roid, Ancient Gear Knight, Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat, uh, Black Velocity, Cyborg Doctor, Gather Your Mind, and Tremendous Fires. Like I said, it looks like just a couple rares inserted here and there, along with the one foil you'll get from the top of each of these. So I think we're going mostly for the can we pull a good common after these dollar packs, which you never know, depending on when these were made, and if they didn't want to reopen these packs to get those commons, there could be some well worth commons, depending on when these were made. So we just have to slowly slide the cards out and throw away the packaging. But yeah, as for the Iron Core, I want to get the foil versions of Iron Core Kawaki Mirror. I have two rare versions, so I mean, I have a playset for the deck profile, but for the actual deck I want to play, I want to have three foils, which this came out from, I believe it was the sneak preview for Raging Battle, where you can get the Iron Core of Kawaki Mirror as the participating card. So we have that. We've got a rare UFO Turtle from Spell Ruler. Uh, Ryu Koki, Common, Mystic Tomato. There's a Snipe Hunter right there. We have an Honest, which is always good. Uh, you know, you can always use Honest in decks. Malevolent Nuzzler. Was I, was this, no, I thought this was the Ritual card for something, but that's from, that's the Equip spell. We have Mist Body, Magicians Unite, Spell Power Grasp, Trap Dust Shoot, now Ban. I wonder if it went into this packaging still legal. Magic Drain, Magic Jammer, Mystical Elf, and number 30, Acid Gold of Destruction. This, this was from a starter deck, so I thought it was a foil for a second. I had to double check with those. But like I said, main reason I got it was for the Iron Core. And you really can't pass up the dollars. I definitely do want to see when Marissa opens up the $3 one, if there's more than one foil in this or not. Or if they just go based on the card itself and what it is. But for the next one, we have Nimble Sunfish, which I don't remember the price of this card. This card... Uh, did this card make the dollar back uh, when I open this uh, to when I upload the pack? Have we had a reprint of Nimble Sunfish? We'll have to wait and see. We have Nimble Sunfish. Uh, so, yeah, right here, Shining Darkness Unlimited. Hopefully still worth the dollar. That's what I'm hoping for. And for our commons, we have Ready for Intercepting, Reinforcements, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Stamping Destruction, 
Creature Swap, always cool. Black Illusion Ritual. Needle Sunfish to go with the Nimble Sunfish. I see what they're doing there. If they actually did this on purpose, that's pretty cool. And we've got Bottom Dweller, Scrap Shark. Okay, they went for an ocean theme with this one with the Nimble Sunfish. Because we've got two Great Whites and one of my favorite cards from, I think, what was the first... Uh, game for the Game Boy Advance for Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal something, I want to believe. Soul of the Duelist, maybe. No, that's a booster pack. But this was one of my ace cards that I used in the booster pack as well. All right, so the last three are still mine. I picked up two of the Helios, and she did as well for a playset. If the Helios ever gets support, it'd be cool to have a playset of the uh, Baby Sons for sure. So let's go ahead and open those ones next. See what we get from these ones. We don't get to open mystery packs too, too often, so I'm glad we were able to this time. And I'm sure you all enjoy just the mystery they have also. This is a World Champion 6 uh, Helios. I can't remember where they are from. Honestly, these all look to be pretty good condition aside from the Diffusion Wave Motion having a few nicks, but we have Helios here. We have a rare uh, from Duels Pack 2, Chaz Princeton, VW Tiger Catapult, Magician of Faith, Sage of Stillness, Chaos Command Magician, Patrician of Darkness, Plague Wolf, Regenerating Mummy, which pack was that? That's from Zombie World. Another Trap Dust Shoot, the same as I said before. I wonder if this went in here. Legal, it probably did not. It was much more used then, so it probably did get placed in here when it was banned. Light Force Sword, Full Force Strike, Magic Reflector, Synthesis Spell from, I was about to say Storm of Ragnarok, but that's Strike of Neos. The card looks too old to be Storm of Ragnarok. We have Paladin of White Dragon, two of them. We didn't get the Ritual spell to use them, but we did get a Sabersaurus. Uh, I can't recall from the other packs. We're we following a trend of normal monsters on the end of these. I can't remember. If we were, let me know or not if we did. But we had the one sun from that one. We'll see which sun also we pull the best from. But on to my second sun pack. All right, so let's see how this one looks. Yep, looks to be in pretty good condition as well. And then I move the spot and we have a ghost rare. Nope. I can dream, but I don't think they would do something like that. We have a Chain Burst, Gravekeeper's Assailant, Gravekeeper's Cannon Holder, Yellow Gadget, Green Gadget. Do we get red? Oh, yep, we did get red. Are they all from the same? They're all from Duelist Pack Yugi. I forgot they came in that pack. We also got a Karibo. So we got a kind of Yugi theme going on for this one. Photon Lead, Watt Key, Watt Cube, Pixie Ring, Dark Spirit of Silent, and we do end on another strong normal monster. Uh, just like the other ones, Warrior Digrepher. I did a speed duel opening. I'm just getting so much nostalgia now, seeing them the old school when they were in the uh, old pack as well. But the last one for me is the Dragoonity Ducks. I got this one because I don't have that many. And it's also first edition, Seeker Rare Dragoonities for my Dragoonity deck. I use the ones from the Kaiba pack, which I do want either dual terminal or if I can get the Seeker Rare versions, that's okay as well. Let's see what we get. We got a Seeker Rare Dragoonity Ducks starting us off first edition. We've got a Malfunction from Shadow of Infinity. We have Familiar Knight. Z Metal Tank, do we get Y as well? And do we have X Head Cannon? No, because you know what? I bet X Head Cannon's at the end. Lord of D, Destiny Hero Doom Lord, Enraged Battle Ox, Destruction of Destiny, Needle Ceiling, Ekibio Dram Core, Magic Reflector. Sorry, slowed down there. There's that White Dragon Ridge I can use for the other pack. And we have a Super Robo Yaru. And do we get, yep, there he is. Called it X Head Cannon at the end of the pack. But that is it for my booster packs. Got some of the plastic over on the edge there. I'm going to swap positions for the last two so Marissa can open them up. And we'll see what we get from the final two. And we'll see if the uh, Helios from this one was the go-to one or not. So you just rip yeah. open. They're kind of weird to open. But... Let's start with the dollar one first. So I'm curious what's in the $3 one. I don't know. Yeah, if you do get They had more. a lot of these there. You get any more foils or not from that one? Yeah. You just feel it. Like, yeah, it's like I said, kind of awkward. Yeah, okay. So, little sun dude, which I never seen, that's why I wanted him. Uh, Blasting Fuse, Gigantic. I am not even going to attempt. Cyphlet. Yeah. Yeah. Just... 
Pursue Chaser. Oh, White Mare. That's kind of cool. <laughs> awesome. What is this set even from? Star Strike Blast. Uh, but that is a good card. I got to double check. This might yeah. have just made back Gore. some, if not all, of the money spent on the packs. <laughs> Technical Espionage es Expert Drillago. What? Bog Boganian. Boganian. Transcendent Wings. Oh, oh yeah. the wing crew. Chain Summoning. Kind of, um, I don't know if people use it anymore, but I don't know. Uh, the re Reliable Guardian. What? A Humanoid, humanoid worm, worm Drake. Really weird cards. Widespread Dud. Uh, hero Counterattack. And Norm Monster is... Oh, jeez. Hyo Zanryu? Yeah. Ru? You gotta double check this white yeah. man. That might be all the value right then there. Okay, here's the $3 pack. Or whatever yeah. you want to call it. We'll call it a $3 pack. Yep. Oh, they, they got shorter plastic in this one. They knew what they were doing. They I just wanted this because it had the really cool... Valkyrion. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Looks to be in good condition, I might, too. Yeah, I might just build it just because I have this card, but let's see if we get a super behind it. Nope. Looks Maybe like there's... I don't know. Go through it. Let's see. Flash Assailant. Um, Infinity Dark. Infinity Dark. Infinity Dark. I can't read. Sam Sir Lotus. Y Dragon Head. Sand Gambler. Hor what is that? Horus Servant. Servant. Oh, yeah, Uncensored, Petite Angel, uh, M Warrior Number 2, Ojama Trio. That's pretty good. I mean, I think that might be a few bucks, maybe, I don't know. Fairy Wind. Fairy Wind, Symbol of Heritage, Metamorphosis? Damn. Yeah, but still interesting. Metal Reflex Slime, and we ended on a Elemental Hero Mariner. Mariner. All right, but that was pretty <laughs> awesome, especially that white mare at the end. You know, I said we're only expecting some commons that might be forgotten, but that's still very, very cool. Uh, we hope you all enjoyed. I don't know when I'm going to do another blind bag opening because, like I said, they are kind of difficult to find. But I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.